Hello, hello guys, this is Panda and today I want to show you how to build a armor stand swapper. Um, so what it does, it is just switches through between five different armor stands. So uh, five is the amount of different sets of armor that there are. So uh, yeah, leather, um, chain, gold, iron and diamond. It's not that complicated and I would say we just build it up. But as a fair warning, this design is not 100% 100% stable. Um, sometimes if you reconnect it will fail afterwards, so be aware of that if you build it. Um, but let's go ahead and build it up. So um, yeah, I will start with a piston here, um, put a slime block on top, and um, yeah, now on, on one side of the piston we place uh, three blocks uh, like this. Um, then we go to the side where the piston is, place an extra block there, and then also place an extra block diagonal to that uh, between the piston and the um, yeah the other block here. Uh, now we want to place a second uh, piston in this corner here. Um, put a block on top of that. Also put a block in the other corner. And um, yeah, now do some redstone. Place a repeater here facing into the block on top of the piston. Place a repeater facing away from the piston on two ticks. So we got short pulser here. And um, yeah, then place a, another repeater on two ticks facing away from this block and place a redstone so the piston gets powered by that. Um, next up we go on the other side here, take a block that can be moved by pistons or slime blocks and um, place it on the side of the slime block here. Um, then diagonal of that block we want to um, place a normal block here on top of the repeater and diagonal of that we place a normal block again. Now we move to the other side again. Um, and on this side of the block, which is on top of the repeater, we place again an obsidian block or a furnace or something that can be moved by slime blocks. And then we place four blocks on top of this block, just four normal blocks. Um, next up, we want to take uh, fence gates and trapdoors. So we want to take trapdoors first and place a trapdoor on the top side of the obsidian block down here. Then we want to skip one block and then on the lower side of this block we place a second fence gate. So not on the upper side of this block but on the lower side of this block. Uh, second trapdoor, sorry. Um, and yeah, one block higher we uh, place a trapdoor on the lower side of the block again. And way up here we place a fence gate on top of uh, this trapdoor. Next up we have to uh, wire up the rest of this thing. So uh, we move to this side over here and um, place a block on this block here. That's a glitch in the snapshot so that it doesn't show the block sometimes. So don't get confused by that. So um, yeah, we place a, a block up here. Um, on top here we will have the pressure plate um, wiring the whole thing. So let me just exchange some things in the inventory. I actually still need the torch. So we place a pressure plate here which will uh, trigger the whole thing. Below the pressure plate we wire up the redstone uh, to the obsidian block so that it will go into this repeater. Um, now we go to over here to the block which has the two tick repeaters next to it, place a torch tower, uh, torch, block, torch. Um, on the side of the uh, block below the torch here we place a block, then uh, go one block up and um, yeah go one block up again like this. Um, move to this side, place two blocks out here and one block up. So on this side it looks like this. And now we go back to the torch stand on the torch, um, have a repeater facing away on the first tick um, delay and yeah, a redstone on top of this block here. Then a repeater again on this block over here and a redstone on top of this block. And that's the redstone pretty much, we just need to place a block over here so that the fence gate gets powered by this redstone and also place some blocks around here just for fanciness. Um, and yeah, now this thing is done pretty much. I would say we just place a half slabs around here to hide the redstone and to make it look nicer. Um, and we can fill in the armor stands. To fill them in you just place uh, some block back there, um, put the armor stand against it, go on the pressure plate, put another armor stand against it, go on the pressure plate, put another one against it, go on the pressure plate and yeah, at some point they will fly up again after you placed five, so there we go. And now you can remove this block and exchange the armor on the armor stands however you want, switch them through with the pressure plate. And yeah, that's it. Now a few people ask if it was possible to um, yeah, do the same thing for villagers with this design. It 
kind of is, but you have to do some changes. So um, yeah, we'll just try to show you uh, what changes there are. Um, but actually before that, uh, let's just try to reconnect because this design sometimes break if I reconnect. So let's just see if it happens. So there we go, loading the world again. If I now trigger it, you can see the armor stands are just dropping down. Okay, now it works again. It's it's a little weird glitch there. Um, I still wanted to show the design as uh, we already made a teaser video for it. But yeah, it's a little glitched. So um, I'm not completely sure where this, uh, this glitchiness comes from yet. But um, yeah, I will just uh, do adjustments for the, for the villagers now so that you can use villagers in the same design. So what we want to do is just clear out the middle part here where we got the fence gates and the armor stands and, um, and the step doors. And uh, just take fence gates and uh, put a fence gate on top of this block. So uh, over here. And then we want to have a gap because otherwise we would see the, the uh, villager inside the other villager. And um, then place the fence gate up here again. Um, so yeah, let me just make it a little better visible. So, visible. so we got a fence gate on this level and a fence gate on the level of this block here. Um, and that should be pretty much it. Well, of course we don't want the villagers to be able to walk out, so place glass around. Um, also down here they could walk out, so we want to uh, place a glass block here and um, yeah, some other blocks on top of this. And a block here. And that should be safe. Um, to be completely sure, better place uh, non-movable blocks here and here. So it's completely built in. And yeah, now we can just spawn a villager in. Oh, actually, um, as he's jumping, that could cause trouble. So better place uh, two high class blocks here, um, so they can can think that they can walk out. Um, but yeah, now we can just uh, place a villager in there and do it like before. Trigger the pressure plate. Uh, spawn the second one in. Trigger the pressure plate. Spawn the third one in. So now the design for villagers uh, only works for three different um, types. You probably can adjust it to, to work for more, but yeah, at the moment that's, uh, that's all I have. Um, yeah, also the, the thing for villagers here uh, with the three types also works for armor stands and it should be a lot more stable than this thing over there. So yeah, just as an option, you pretty much just have to replace the, the trapdoors uh, with fence gates in the spots where I showed, so that you got a few less. Um, and it works fine. But I guess that's it for today. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Oh, and before I forget, also thanks to Spire, he helped me figuring out the redstone uh, stuff. Like this final design is, is made by me, but um, he helped a lot in the development. I will link his channel in the description. Also thanks to Doc M, um, he helped with this thing as well. So that's it. Goodbye and see you next time. <coughs>